Hello and welcome to Service Tracker Hints and Tips video guides. This video covers adding a signature. Hi, so in this video we're covering um, the how to add signatures um, and why is it important to add signatures. So the reason why we add signatures is um, if you're completely paperless and you're sending documentation over to um, your customers, it, on the service reports as an example, the customer would have signed it and you also want the technician who did the work to have signed it as well. So what we do is we attach their signature to their resource um, and when a job is complete, when a visit is complete, um, it will attach their signature automatically to the service reports and it will be displayed next to the customer's signature. So um, how do we add a um, signature to the system so the first thing we need to do is really get the signature in a, um, in a in a format that it can be uploaded so what I've done earlier on is I actually in our demo environment um, I went and um, used the mobile device and put a signature in as if I was a customer because that is uploaded with the, the visit I was able to download that um, JPEG that, that signature and save it on my local um, on my drive, on my local drive, so I can then upload it. So I'm going to show you how to upload that in a minute. But however you want to get your signatures is up to you. The point being is you need your signatures in a digital format so we can upload, and then we'll show you how to to attach it. It's um it is quite straightforward. There's a few things we, we need to do. Um, there are videos that have already been created, so there will be certain things that we're, we've done which I'm just going to skirt over because um, I'm hoping you've already watched the other videos. So let's go and start then let's actually add the signature so what we need to do is we need to upload the signature as a document so we go into the all button at the top here and then we need to go into documents okay and I've actually gone and created a view in the documents so a folder document which has signatures so it will it will have once we've loaded it it'll have all of the signatures of all of the, the technicians and I'm only gonna add, uh, upload one but from your perspective you probably want to add them all in here so they're all stored so we then go and click new document so as I've said before there is a, um, uh, a video where you can watch around uploading documents and so, and so forth so I'm just going to quickly briefly run through this one then so from, from my perspective I'm going to put the name of the resource that we're going to be using so it's Billy Bob's um, Billy Bob Service Tech is the, uh, the resource name so it's going to be his signature um, we're going to make sure that it's externally available we know it's going to stay in the signature folder. Um, you can put a little bit of notes if you want. Um, next thing you can do is just find the, the signature. So I've got the signature there. And I'm now going to click save. So there's a the signature. Um, and this is attached to um, Billy Bob Service Tech. Well, it's, it says his name. So the key thing that we need to get from here is at the top here, where it's got the number, so 015B0000. ZA. That's the bit we want to do, so we're going to go copy, so I've just gone control and C to copy that, and we now need to go to Billy Bob Service Tech Resource, so we're going to go up to the resource, and Billy Bob Service Tech, and we're going to edit it, and the bit that we need to edit is the signature ID, so you can either click edit there or you can just double click. So by double clicking I've entered the screen, and I'm going to paste that bit of code that we had, go save. So that's now been saved to Billy Bob. There it is. And if he now goes and completes a job or a visit, his signature will appear there. So um, through the powers of video, I'm going to show you this. So let's have a quick look. This was the job I was working on earlier on. And then if I go and preview email report and preview open. Now I was only quickly doing this so I could show you but there's the signature and it's under his technician's signature. So that is how you add a signature to a resource. Thank you for watching 